We all laughed at that. And that is significant. Because if there were truly no hope, then we wouldn't be laughing. There's some part of us that recognizes a possibility that justifies the laughter. Like, it's not so serious, really. And of course, humor can also be a way to deflect and distract from what's real and in front of us. But there is a truth in humor as well. There is a truth in the joke. When all else fails in a time of conflict, such as our time today, if you can at least laugh together, then there's a chance of peace. Because to, to share a joke says, yeah, we're not really taking all that so seriously. There's another reality that we're both standing in that we can laugh at it. Positivity and optimism do not come from avoiding the actual situation. They're on the other side of that. However, if we only bring in that part of reality and not the miracles that are also, and, and, and the, the um, outreaches from a larger reality that are, that, that's beckoning to us, then we're insane as well. And we enter the pit of despair. We are coming into very turbulent times when a lot of what has been hidden, what has been pushed aside, swept under the rug, the can that's been kicked down the road, and if I can think of some more cliches, I'll share them with you later. Um, when, when the chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> when and we're, we've been seeing it already happening, like, for example, the, the um, recognition of the slavery and genocide and other horrors that um, were kind of, like, cut out of American history or not fully acknowledged, not fully understood, not fully seen. Those are starting to come back um, into the public consciousness. Um, the, the, the ecological destruction, degradation, that has also been, we've kind of shielded from it because it's, it has been possible to avoid it. It has been possible to, and still is possible, actually. Like, I don't want to say that, that our transcendence of the current human condition is an inevitability that will be brought to us by crisis and collapse. It's not quite so easy. Some of you were there last night. I spoke a lot about this last night, uh, that, that it's a choice, that crisis and breakdown offer us not deliverance, but a choice. 